Good morning. This is bit 18O that I wanted to show uh, Andrew. Um, it's an inch and a half bit. It has a, a very nice uh, side cutting uh, uh, wing on this side. But the wing on this side has it been damaged or uh, broken. Maybe it was dropped years ago before we have got it. And uh, it isn't in the best condition, but it does bore a nice hole. I'm going to put it in the uh, boring machine and test it in just a few minutes. This bit 15J that I wanted to show Andrew. It has a uh, very coarse thread, two very good wings. It's a long shank bit. Um, can be used for a T-handle auger, or it can be used in a Ajax boring machine. The bit in the machine is 18Q, uh, one that Andrew was interested in purchasing. I'm going to bore a test hole. is a very nice hole. Uh, Andrew, this is a bit 18Q that I took out of the boring machine after testing the hole. It has two very nice wings on it, very nice thread. Um, it chucked up in the Ajax machine very well. As I mentioned in the other section of the video, uh, it's a little smaller shank than standard, but it chucks up very nice in the Ajax machine because the Ajax machine has a variable chuck. And uh, I would recommend this bit and 15J for your machine. I hope you can see this bit and understand that it will bore a very nice hole with the, with your machine. Good morning. I'm going to show you how to change a bit in an Ajax boring machine. Ajax boring machine has two set screws to hold the, the bit in the chuck. Using a standard adjustable wrench I'm going to back out one of the set screws. This will allow the bit to drop out. I usually tip the machine a little bit to get enough clearance to get the bit out. I'm going to chuck up uh, bit number 18O, the one with the uh, one missing wing, and give it a test bore. There's a difference in shank size. This one's a little bigger than the first one.
goodness. Whenever tightening these set screws, you don't want to go too strong with them and strip them. They just need to be snug enough to hold the bit. I'm going to put it on the test bench and try it. Now on the test bench with the Ajax machine, To lower the bit, it's, the carriage is held in, at the top by one of these two wings. There's one on each side. Push the carriage arbor to the right and it releases the carriage and drops it down. And you can begin uh, boring your hole. timber I'm using is just a piece of 4x7 east and white pine. Uh, I milled it in July. So it's not real old. A couple months old. Again, at, at the bottom of the hole, you reverse one full turn, then slide the carriage, uh, slide the axle to the right, turn forward again, and the um, lift mechanism engages and lifts the machine, carriage up. When this collar hits this ear, it pushes it sideways and locks the other collar onto the upside. Very nice machine. Works very nice big chips. Kind of ran into that other hole from the previous test. To me, it bought a hole very fine. I would buy that bit. I've now installed the long shank inch and a half bit 15J for a test bore. You see the top of the bit up through the center of the chuck. When installing a bit in this type of a chuck, you have to Tighten the two set screws evenly to grip the shank in the center of the chuck. If you're off center, the bit will wobble a bit a little bit when you do a test spin. So just back off one and turn in the other until you get it so it doesn't wobble. It takes a little bit of adjustment, but it's not too bad. It didn't take me long to swap bits.
Very nice. Very nice bet. Works very well with this machine. I hope this has helped you to understand the Ajax boring machine. We have two machines on hand available for sale. Vintage Tools of New England. This is a check for camera position and volume. Can you hear me okay? This is an Ajax boring machine. It has a hollow chuck so you can put a long shank bit in it. The bit can come right up through the middle.